So then, folks, welcome back to Towns with Sharon and Valerius. Hello, everyone. Hello, Valerius. Simon the Pativan is stood here with his shiny golden axe. Um, I'm going to unpause dirt for a little and go about their business. Yes, yeah, because we want them to idle mostly now. Yes, we want them to idle and we want them to haul and we want them to put heads on sticks and do some stakes and I think that's it for now. But then we are going to, once we get some new people, we're going to make some more armour. Yeah. Did we use all the hob goblin eye? Yes. We made armour. Yeah, we've got seven. That's not enough for a whole set, is it? No. Okay. We're what, gonna go what we need to do is dig down into the next dungeon, make everyone a guard, send them down a patrol point. <laughs> Did we just ask for something made out of silver? I think we've ordered a bow, haven't we? No. Did we not? A bow's three silver. Ah, uh, so we can't get a bow. save that. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. You need to remember what's happening. It's too much Unholy Heights. I know. Screaming with your brain. Oh, unholy Heights on Steam now for two ninety nine is a brilliant little game, isn't it, Valerius? Fantastic. I'm fucking loving it. To, just to break you off, though, and mention something that I wanted to mention today. Go on, man. How do vitamins work? Now, if you have vitamin B, right, yeah. what does generally vitamin B come in? Vitamin B, there's, there's more than one vi vitamin B. That's well, I know that now. Because I've realised that my hair gel says, we're pro-vitamin B5. Yeah. The fuck is B5? Uh, <laughs> do not off the top of my head. B I, I B12, imagine, I think, is niacin. I imagine it's something for your hair. Basically, there's like, the weird thing with the vitamins is it's like you've got vitamin A, then you've got like 12 vitamin Bs yeah. for some reason. Then vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Really sort of weird system that they chose. <laughs> Uh, There's the, probably some kind of reason. I mean, they're, they're all good for you in one way or another. I'm, I'm assuming that does something for your hair, presumably, then. It, it helps give your hair a healthy look. Apparently. It, apparently. Because uh, this... Is that a banana we can buy? Like, yeah. I forgot we can get banana trees. Uh, it's the food merchant, though. We need to sort of get What's rid of it. What's that blue man? thing? What are these blue and green things? That's uh, cactus soup. Oh, my God, we could get some cactus soup. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best thing, isn't it? Is buy some cactus soup. Just buy one thing. Let's buy some cactus soup, and why not? Yeah. Let's, let's not get rid of him. Go extravagantly. 160 <laughs> gold. Oh, my God. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what bit of info. Does it say on it? Uh, None for its moisturising bollocks. Does it specify what it is? Because the thing is, it's like, I have certain things I use, like certain products. Yeah. And, um... My, well, basically, all the products I use... Well, to be use... honest, actually, thinking about it, it does say pro-vitamin B5, which means it could be just one of those made-up bullshit things, uh... like, uh, you know, you know yeah. with new new hairy all that makes your hair better, and yeah. new shiny all that. <laughs> but we love, love a bit of shiny all in your cereal. Exactly. But um, what I was going to say was basically everything that I use, because usually if you use something you like it, you use it again and again and again. Mm. Such as, like, if you get a deodorant you like, you will buy the same deodorant and use that again. Yeah. You might occasionally get a new deodorant to try it to see what it's like, kind of thing. So, recently, I went to go get me, um, like, my shampoo that I usually use for my hair and some hair gel, both of which have now been discontinued. <laughs> that is annoying when that happens. Exactly. Did someone just save that cow? That's interesting. Do you remember when we couldn't figure out why that guy was bleeding? Yeah. Uh, it's because it looks like there's a few stray cows around the map, and although we have this fucking huge, <laughs> massive cow farm, <laughs> it looks like people have been going and getting cows from elsewhere. Reminds me, actually, we should get started on the pig farm, otherwise uh, yeah, the pigs we will do, die off. But uh, the hauling, it doesn't matter, we've, we've got, got, farm, yeah, we've got a pig farm ready. We've made sure that we can't fuck this up, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> Uh, they've just finished what looks like the Goblin Heads on Sticks. There's one gap there. In fact, there's two gaps there, which is where Thingy died. Thingy? Oh, Godiva. Godiva. Uh, what am I looking for? Decorative. As she, as she staggered back to town. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so tired, but also so hungry at the same time. I oh, know. <laughs> if I just eat my shoelaces, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> eat my shoelaces. No, Godiva, no. So uh, I'll just... Dan, she died place some of these down here so we can get some more heads on sticks on the go. Also, after restarting my Bioshock recently, I've only just realised that after having a coffee and then filming, it's not the best thing, because I end up getting so energetic that you notice it, like, in the recording. The Pinky Merchant's come as well. That's like two merchants within, like, two minutes. 
Yeah, well, generally they come fast after the food caravan because the game knows that it shut itself up by giving us a food camper <laughs> caravan. Which, to be honest, if you can't make your own food, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you failed. Yeah. Really, that is true. I mean, like, it's the crappiest of all caravans, yeah. really. Because if you're struggling for food, you probably don't have the money to buy any food with either. Exactly. Well, you might be able to sell a load of dirt if you've been mining a so, mountain. But the thing is... It's going through the store. If you're struggling for food, <sighs> what's going on? Well, maybe you want it to just check our inventory yeah. to see if he wants to stay or not. Yeah. Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> okay, here he is. Let's see what he's got for us. Uh, we do want tables. a stone table. And some stone chairs if he's got any. Oh yeah, let's take the stone chairs. This computer just made a clicking noise next to my ear. Do we want a so fireplace <laughs> to put in the dining room? Um, maybe. <laughs> You're not convinced. No, I was just thinking of something that crossed my mind. There's nothing else particularly good there, but it's behind the scenes uh, kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Is that all we're getting? Yeah. All right. Much. Done. Job done. Right. What has that given us? To ch oh, I forgot to sell him stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, that never mind. I did wonder why you just instantly never confirmed mind. the trade. I was a bit too eager there. <laughs> the uh, merchant let's... was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's stick this shit down. We got two <laughs> chairs. Wait till I tell my wife today that I didn't lose any money for once. <laughs> <laughs> first time I've been to Dursville and they didn't rob me by <laughs> Did you buy any more dirt and slime off Dursville? No. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh god. That Paul Caravan. I know. On the bright it? side, though, he might come back again now. You never know. He's still listed as there, even though he's not, you know, even though he's supposed to be leaving town. We've also got one spare bone candle for some reason. How have we managed that? Because we're an idiot. <laughs> I think we bought one for Gandalf's room. Did we? Gandalf's room is full of shit. It literally can't fit yeah, anything else. So is Alphalos's. It's got potted plants and chairs yeah. and clocks and things. We could also do with making all this spider right into some stuff uh, that we can then sell. What do you think? Should we do that? Try and clear some of it up? Because I think the spider right chests are all full. We can, but it just means we're all crafting for the little buggers. It does. But obviously, like, there's a limit on how many people can craft at once. Also, where are we going to put all this? Because the um, weapon racks are kind of full. Well, it doesn't matter. It'll all get dumped in the forge and then we'll sell it. Okay. We've got so much stuff. What do you reckon is going to be worth the most? Oh, the weapons. Helmet only uses one iron to two spiderites. That would save on iron. I thought breastplate would sell most because obviously it's got highest defense and yeah. such. But I thought weapons would sell better. Do you reckon we could do with we could do with seeing what the merchants got? You know what I mean. Well, maybe we should wait until we get the next. And see what the prices are like. It's fuzzy. Spiderite swords, nice damage on it. And again, just one iron. Which is quite good. I think the arachnid bows do the thing, but that's. When the next merchant comes, we can just inspect it because he won't leave town until yeah. we trade. With and we've got some stuff to sell so anyway. So we could just make that. everyone else do it. It's me just losing her tiredness again. <laughs> yep. I'm She's around doing something. Let's have a quick look what people are doing. I'm a bird. Her <laughs> task drop. That said, drop. Yeah, all of them have Goblin to drop. Poles. The happiness is going up Holy. a little bit. Not on everyone though. Happiness zero. Yeah, we're going to need to make some... Should we make Goblinite for the new people, what do you think? What are they think? doing? Like, why are they not happy? Why are they not happy? Just because they're hauling. I mean, they're not unhappy, really. I mean, like... Some of them are on zero. That's, that's kind of bad. This guy. What the fuck, Simon? Yeah, that's a, that is a bit weird. He's killing a cow, yet he's on happiness zero. How can he not be happy? He's killing a cow. God knows. <laughs> God knows where is. He's just obviously not happy with it. Um, do we want to whip out some Goblinite gear for the new guys, so that at least they've got something on? Stop making them do things. <laughs> well, we I have. Just, we I have want to some... get some more people first because we had twenty-seven, and, uh, and we've not even got back up there yet. We do have some Goblinite so... stuff kicking around though. Just leaving them unarmed means, yeah, this is going to happen basically. But if it happens in town and they're not hauling from the dungeon, oh, then we're fine. Slimes. The last three sieges we had, you've got to remember, were four evil badgers. Four spiders, four slimes. Which means we're due a big one, so, is what I'm thinking. But if we get a big one, and everyone turns into a guard, and everyone runs into the centre of town, we'll just slaughter everything. We'll be fine. True. No one will die. <laughs> <laughs> so you say. We'll just send Ismay. Well, who, who's going to die that we actually care about now? Um, Probably no one. If Godiva dies, because she can't stay away from battles, because she doesn't have a bow anymore, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to poke you in the butt. you realise. Well, we need another silver to make her a decent bow, so that's not my fault. 
It clearly is. It clearly is not. A shittier bow would have kept it out yeah, of the we've, battle. We've almost filled up the bloody hobgoblin heads again. It's because they've got a lot of hobgoblins. Can we check the stock panel for them? We can't, can we? But no. we can check by pretending to equip someone. There's yeah. still quite a few out there. Um, I'll, I should probably put another row of them in then, I think. Jesus. It's because they um, uh, really like it. Outdoor. I mean, it feels so good cleaning up Dirtsville by I know, but you quite clearly don't feel that good because you're trying to do more and more tasks for them. Yeah, but only them the, the, only related to the slime. hauling. I mean, this is part of the hauling because that's how they haul it. Look at this. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Donald Dyer gets chasing him. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is, as well, you gave everyone a good axe, and in yeah. all honesty, I don't reckon that two new people that we got, just got now are going to die. And Cambridge got one of the others. Because it's very rare that the two people are just going to suddenly die. Yeah, look at it within a little sips wand. Oh, look, and, I'm sips now! Blessed breastplate. <laughs> when you uh, do a spell from the sips wand, is it like in Harry Potter you have to shout the spell, so, I love you, Sam? Yeah, Would it be kind of, well, on the sips <laughs> wand, would it be more like, you know, you bastard? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's how it works. We are going to want some bloody good gear for her as well. By the power of Sidon! Because <laughs> she's she's very ill-equipped, old Anne Cambry. I know, but she stays out of the battle because she has a wand. What True. we need is to give everyone a sniper rifle. <laughs> and uh, this is clearly how you win TF2 as well. You just get everyone, get everyone a sniper snipers. rifle. And, an uh, awful we're... lot of raw beef around. Jesus Christ. So they've been murdering a lot of cows, and then they go, Oh, no, I'm not happy. I've They're had to murder this poor little cow. Getting a bit obsessed with it again, aren't they? You know... It's because the minute they eat one piece, they have to then make another raw bit and another cooked bit. And Rowan just slings got one of the other slimes. There's a lot of slime around. The thing is, they'll all go past the dungeon entrance anyway. Yeah, they do seem to do yeah. that quite a lot, which, which is why it's good having the old dungeon guard there. And they're both equipped. Yeah, they're both equipped. They have dynamite gear. axes, hobgoblin shit on yep. They're good. We're yeah. good, Sharon. They're pretty fucking have? solid. I mean, our response team is a fucking bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, we've not got much kind of... In the way of failing, the only reason our response. Well, being... she's she's not. We took her off response. Oh shit! Because you, you said to you, you said to take her off response and get her doing towny shit, Valerius. Yeah, but that was back when we had like twenty three people, and we've now got twenty six. Do you want me to put her back on patrol? I think she should go back on because if a siege comes now, at least she's going to be the fastest on like the first level to get there. Right. Which um, obviously. In the dungeon last time is how, the reason why Do you we remember how we assign her to group two? Uh, the, the bottom right one. Yeah. And then group two. Uh, yeah, that's right, isn't it? Guards yeah. group. I think so. It looks right. Let's see a guard. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. She's bruised. Yeah, I know. It's because she's a bear. Someone punched her in the boot. So Robin Gumbolt has taken this room. Did we... S oh, yeah. And there's the other one. Juliana. Taking a good diver's room. Yeah, so it, I'm guessing they're filling it up in sort of some sort of order from left to right. Why does it smell like a starving woman in here? <laughs> That's just a good diver. <laughs> so, these are the rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six spare rooms. And then obviously Alpha losses. Oh, and there's one up, three up on the necromancy row as well. What, uh, what famous people have a nice big bushy black beard? I don't know. Why? Is this this you still thinking about your pitch you were trying to make yeah. earlier? Uh, I don't know, Valerius. I wrote that one. if Pavarotti does. Possibly, but he's very large. He's a very large gentleman, Valerius. Well, Alphalos was large in life. <laughs> he's larger than life. <laughs> Brian fucking blessed. Yep. Well, I could put him as Brian blessed. Right. Hold on. How much... How much goblin... We've got 156 goblinite. 177 yep. spire, right? There's no point building anything until the weapon know, actually comes. Stop staring at it longingly. You're like a puppy. I have to keep fucking spraying you with water. <laughs> bad puppy. Bad. <laughs> You're not supposed to spray puppies with water, Valerius. Yes, you are. They do bad things. You just spray the nose with water. Oh, no, wait, that's cats. It's just, yeah, possibly. That would make more sense. They appear to just be doing steak at the moment. What do you do with dogs? So, just oh, no. stare at them and say, no. Suddenly was making a hobgoblin pole. They don't appear to be hauling anything other than that. Let me go have a look in the dungeon. Oh, someone's bringing bones up. So they are doing some hauling. So I could hear a noise. It was distracting my attention. We've got quite a lot of pink slime down here as well, which we'll be able to start selling now. Oh, yeah. oh this thing as well. Craig Gummersall says the reason we didn't get a dwarf was probably because the door was locked. 
So that would make sense. That would make quite a bit of sense in all honesty. The other thing is, we still don't know whether we need to make that an actual tavern or not. It might just be fine as a tavern. Room. It might just be tavern. It might be. It might just be tavern. That's it. It might just be tavern. It might just be. And the old, the old play bringer. There's fucking wires everywhere. Getting some bones. I know there is wires everywhere. Why is there a bunch of coal there? Because we locked everyone out. And they couldn't go and get it. It's just really weird. Did we dig through there yeah. at some point? We must have done. Yeah, we dug through there because you wanted to dig through all the walls so we could kind of Yeah, like, at some access. point we do need to dig like the entire entire thing going from like one end to the other. Just just order it for to be mined from one end to the other and then we'll just sell all the stones to everyone we meet. <laughs> Pinky Venture comes around, hey guys, but you got anything to sell me this time? Well, actually we've got 17,000 stones. <laughs> Do, oh, shit. do you think, because it'd be quite quick to do that, I should put the fence down? Because then we can turn the pig farm on and start spawning. Oh, but the, the peoples. We only have 25 people, show on. I know. Because somebody it, made his may go back to home. Soldier Patrol. I know, but she needs to be on there, really, just to help kind of like the new people. Alionor's not very happy. I mean, maybe it's, it's these are people who've been in the dungeon. Maybe being in the dungeon drops their I don't their think happiness. it's only that, but also it's well that she had to craft a fucking goblin head. Yeah. And if she had to craft a fence, she'd probably be more than happy. And if she had to make some armour, she'd probably be more than happy. I mean, I think they're getting good happiness boosts as they go and eat. Oh, yeah, they will. As they go and Except eat, for Simon, he's right miserable gift. Yeah, but that's because he's wearing full gold armour. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably hard to move and warm all the time. Well, that is true. It's not very <laughs> practical, is it? <laughs> Why would they let me take it off? I can't even pee in this. <laughs> uh, Why gods? Why oh, gods in the sky? Simon Barber. He's <laughs> badass, though. God. His fucking stats, if you see his stats... One man tank. He's got yep. seven... He's got nearly 8,000 defence, basically, and we've not got his boots yet. He's it's still a, got boots to go. one man tank. <laughs> We're going to have to make the gold armour crew. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the bad who will we? Who will we give him silver yeah. to? Oh, Francis, yeah. yeah. What's he up to? He's already on 6,000. Jesus Christ. We've yeah. only given him the bloody breastplate. It's because he's a pig slayer hat, so good. Yeah, it's one and a half thousand, but the silver one's going to be even better for him, really. That pig hat is so amazing. That's pretty fucking insane. Six thousand defense just off a silver How much does uh, Anne have? <laughs> Not defense, attack. Attack with the play bringer. Nearly three thousand. What's uh, Simon's damage? With the axe, the gold axe. Uh, yeah, like five thousand. I think she's going to have to steal his gold axe. <laughs> and 3,000 damage. That is fucking crazy. That guy's just going to own everything. Uh, some shit flashing. Is it important? He's, no. he's either going to own everything, or they're going to go, Simon, help us. Yeah. Okay. Just uh... get his ass kicked. <laughs> he just have to slowly walk over there, dragging his massive axe that's just made out of solid gold. <laughs> we should just open the next layer of dungeon and just send him in by himself. That would be as a patrol soldier. Just off you go. <laughs> just down there, just fucking hacking away. Comment everything. section if you'd like to see Simon die in the next episode. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Look at all these fucking hey, hey, we, heads. Oh my god, we can put him down there, lock the door, <laughs> so he can't get back up. Fuck you, Simon. Me. Just go kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're sending him down with a little lunchbox filled with a hog roast. <laughs> <laughs> What's, uh, oh, I wonder what he was doing then. He was making a hog cover head yeah. on the stick. I thought he was thinking evil thoughts. I don't know, it's Arthur. Arthur doesn't usually think evil thoughts. Well, you never know. Him you never know what he's up him to. Him and Arthur were the only ones with beards. Fourth wind. What a badass. No new people yet. God, why won't they move in? Simon's up to 16 happiness, so it is rising. Yeah, but he's made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> I am made of gold. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he's Iron Man, just like <laughs> wandering around. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Why? Why that song? Because <laughs> that's the song Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Ah, which I think they used in the Iron Man film. No, I'm pretty no. sure they. I'm pretty sure they did. No. no. Oh, hilarious! 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 God, it's so warm next to this PC. PC, why you sort all the heat? It's fucking warm for October. To be honest with you, it's like we're not used to this sort of heat in October. But we are British, and in all honesty, that's the first thing British do. They moan about the weather, and Win then we send angry complaint letters. Winter just isn't coming, Valerius. It's D dear Prime Minister, it's too hot. Yeah. Sort this shit out. <laughs> not having this bollocks. <laughs> sort it out, not shit. For fuck's sake, Gay Ben. Damn weather. it, Gay Ben. <laughs> Make it cold. <laughs> This is what the British do. Oh, we complain right. about the weather. We write angry complaint letters. 
which are usually very nicely put as well. We've still got Hobgoblin heads, so the list is getting smaller, thankfully. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we've run out of space there, so I'm going to have to put another row here. Oh, just so don't, don't mind any of that mountain, because we'll have to go on the map and change no, it. I'm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we won't, because the... <laughs> not yet, anyway. Not yet, but eventually we will. Do you know how much of a pain it was to get that? We've put, we've put some more heads correct. on spikes. I fucking love heads on spikes. <laughs> this, is, this is my new favourite thing to do. God. <laughs> oh, man. Well... Oh, dear. Still hauling going on. Still no new people. Still no new merchants. So, yeah, Sharon, uh, I've been playing Warlock recently. Yeah, I noticed you've been playing Warlock recently. This is oh. the, the sort of Civ 5 blatant ripoff. <laughs> Except, like, there's different planes to go on. Yeah. And I found out you can settle a city in a different plane. So, even when my cities were wiped out on the first plane, I was in the second plane with all the monsters, like, lol, winning. <laughs> Oh, it was brilliant. Right, she gained about ten happiness just from walking in past the um. Oh yeah. The bird cage. Do. Look, just because you want to buy bird cages, put them along the road now. But it's not cumulative. <laughs> she left and came back in and went to it again and didn't get another ten. Ah. Uh, so I just sort of try to figure out the happiness mechanic. I think it's. I no. think you get a base amount for being near an object, right? And then the longer you're near it, the more it raises your happiness. She got to six walking past the harp. Yeah. So if we assume that this gives roughly six and this gives roughly ten, then we'll have to figure what, the what other bits out May, for ourselves. Who's sat there staring at the bird like she wants to eat it? Uh, she's a guard. Well, she'll be on a hundred, won't she? Because she's a guard. Ah. I thought it took a while to go up, and she was on zero. No, I think it, I think it happens pretty quick because they because they don't have a job. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's the so doing actual work that why, drags it down. Why do we never just? Turn everyone into a soldier and leave them for like two minutes while we just discuss. We games. have done that before. We could jump to do that now. Well, I mean, obviously, it means they won't be hauling or making food. It's just a bit of a. I don't know, because it just depends how long it'd take for us to get new people in. Exactly. You don't really know for definite. What we'll do is next episode, if we haven't yeah. got anyone by the end of this episode, next episode we'll, we'll do that. We'll make them soldiers just to get some new people in. Which sounds much better. It does, doesn't it? It does indeed do. What have we got on these armour racks? We've got a Mask of the Beast as well, don't forget. I yeah, because that I was... Uh, that. I, I didn't forget, because someone killed Tarawin. Damn. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got two Masks of the Beasts. Yeah. Because we bought one as well, yeah, didn't we, we? We bought one and was like, now we can get Tarawin a wife. Dead time. Tarawin already had a wife, it was Ismay. No, no, he didn't like he's Ismay. Now, he's now back on the market. Because Ismay was the guard. Come, come get it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that nice bare ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out of that bed cover. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's twerking. <laughs> She's twerking at the bear. door. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Miley Barris. Miley Barris. <laughs> Fifty Shades of his, mate. Yep. <laughs> we can make that joke now. Look at fucking Clifton thinking he's in the Blue Hat Guild. Oh, I'm in the Blue Hat Guild, guys. No. I'm getting the feeling Hoka isn't going to put any armour on. Well, either that or, you know, he just... Maybe he likes being nude. Maybe he is a nudist. <laughs> maybe he just enjoys the breeze between his legs as he walks past all the raw steak on the floor. Just, like just like stepping with his bare, hairy feet in it. Just like hanging out with yep. his wang out. Just sitting down on their steak and chilling, laying on it, rolling around in it. <laughs> Hi, guys! Hi, guys! <laughs> it's me. Just hanging out with my wang out. <laughs> Just rolls over, punches a ball, and starts rolling in the steak again. Oh god, guys, this is so amazing! Oh, god, he loves punching balls so much. <laughs> punching balls and being nude. He That's really what does. the Highlanders do. Jesus, how many fucking hobgoblin heads are left? What the, what the shit? Where's all this come from? Yeah, you might have unlocked some more doors. What? That wasn't there a minute ago. Did you unlock any more doors? No. Maybe someone broke a door. Did anyone what, enter rage what, mode? What the hell? The rage but trade. I opened this a minute ago and it was a tiny, tiny thing and now it's just massive. Well, that's because of... That is so weird. There's a hobgoblin head of the hawk. Oh. Does that mean when we put it on a spike it'll have a hawk on top? It does. I'm just sort of... No. Oh, we've still got a direct axe that we haven't assigned to anyone. Are we sure it's ours or it's just randomly in the dungeon? No, it's definitely ours. <sighs> That's how it looks on good bows. <laughs> um, oh, what's that blue one? Was that a hobgoblin head? It looked like. I'm going to give Roger Boosie because he's got a stone spear. We're going to give him the diorite axe. Oh, it's the wooden um, the dragon thing. We're going to need more bloody hobgoblin heads on sticks. Jesus Christ. 
How many hobgoblins did we kill down there? Hobgoblins or goblins? Hobgoblins. We've got more hobgoblin heads than goblin heads. There's tons well, of them. Yes, because someone deleted the goblin heads. Mm, and we went through that phase where we thought you deleted every single goblin head yeah, in but the I entire world. I hadn't deleted them all. Amazingly, no, but you deleted quite a For lot. For once, of them. that wasn't my fault. You deleted probably about 45% of our goblin heads. There's still tons and tons of shit around. And we know very well now that when things get to the dungeon, they get scared and run away and fight the dungeon guard instead. I know, that is true. Right, anyway, Valerius, we are coming up for time, uh, so I think we should pause it there. Where is Roger Boosie? I just wanted to make sure he got his thing. Oh, yeah, he's got it. He just went and picked it up just then. Is, there shouldn't be another out. one. He's chilling out. Yeah, it's the last one. Right, we'll leave it there, Val. Next episode, what we're going to do is make everyone into soldiers, get their happiness up, get some new people in, and then finish off the hauling and get the fence built for the pig farm. Good stuff. Sound like a plan? It does indeed. Cool. I'll pause us there. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.